What's up everyone? Bri Bri Guy here. Um, Bisbing said the GSP fight could be his last um, of his career. He's been fighting in the UFC since 07, I think it was, 06. He was on the third season of The Ultimate Fighter. Uh, since his UFC debut, since he was on The Ultimate Fighter, he's been unbeatable. He's looked not I shouldn't say unbeatable. He's been a star and he's looked amazing and he's really grown as an athlete and as a fighter since then. Obviously, he's been so such a long time. Um, finally got his shot against Anderson Silva. It wasn't even for the title. And then finally got a title shot. Beat Rockhold. We all know that story. And now he's the champ. Had a close fight against Dan Henderson. A lot of people felt Dan Henderson won. I haven't seen that fight since I watched it live uh, that night. But all I remember is H-bombs landing at will in the first two rounds. Um, and then Bisbing showing his true athleticism as a cardio specialist and taking over. He's looked good as middleweight uh, since being the champ. He's always looked good at middleweight since his... He made his uh, middleweight debut at UC 83. That was the Matt Serra, George St. Pierre card. First time in Montreal. Have that on DVD. Awesome. A main event. JSP St. Pierre. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Awesome card. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Um, whatever you can. Fight Pass DVD. Whatever. Online. A legal thing. You can watch Watch that fight night. It was an amazing event in Toronto. Biz being fought. Chainsaw, uh, Charles Chainsaw McCarthy on that card ran through him, looked amazing, and since then has just been only lost what three, four times at middleweight uh, in his career since moving up. So he's looked amazing. Um, moving down, excuse me. So he's looked amazing, and he's calling for a GSP uh, retirement. Maybe uh, I think I don't think he should retire. I still like watching him fight. Um, maybe he sees a GSP payday coming. Like maybe oh, he's getting a bit more for that event because it's gonna be a big event. GSP is a big, uh, big not as big as a draw as it used to be, but he's a big draw. Um, so GSP maybe sees a good payday for them. Maybe that's a good time to exit out. He does UFC on Fox. He looks amazing on that. Does an amazing job. He's well spoken. Uh, he's funny. He does not give a shit. He will not hold back, which is what made him. You know, what, what's a quality that we all love about him. Um, so maybe he, he sees that, a payday, and he sees the job with the UFC on Fox and says, you know what, maybe it's time to hang him up. And maybe he looks up, up on the horizon at Luke Rockhold and the Yoel, you know, Jogger and Yoel, they're on losing streaks right now, are still dangerous. Maybe he looks at that and goes, that's who I have to face. Maybe he looks at Whitaker and goes, that's who I have to face. Um, at my age... I love fighting, but maybe fighting those guys isn't the best thing for me. Especially a Whitaker, man. That kid's amazing. He's oh, he's champ. He's going to be champ one day. Very, very soon. Um, so maybe Bisbing sees that and goes, shit, maybe uh, after I fight GSP, a smaller, older guy around my age who hasn't fought in so long, maybe he I see that as an easy win or as a easier win. And maybe that's time for me to exit out because of the the uh, the savages that wait for me after that fight um, but that's just kind of me jokingly you know saying that because Bisbing is a beast and he is a f true fighter he probably backs down from the one but maybe he kind of looks at it and goes retirement or head trauma so as we moved forward in head trauma maybe the medicine and um, more advanced in medicine it comes more we learn about the brain, the more we learn about what actually happens when you get hit in the head with a punch or a kick, or after what happens when you know you get a concussion. More we learn, about, well, I shouldn't say we, because I'm not learning shit, but more they learn about that. Maybe we see more guys like maybe a Bisping who gets to a certain age and like says, you know what, maybe it's time to go out and especially with how sports are, you know, look at all the other sports. It's a young man sport. You look at hockey, it's just a bunch of young Europeans killing it right now. You look at MMA, and it's very similar where, you know, the Europeans are a lot of European champs right now. A lot of 
Polish, Russian women, men and women killing it right now. You know, see what Connor's doing, Bisping, what he's been doing for the last decade in the UFC. Um, so not so much. I'm not my point. Not so much of making about the uh, Europeans, but about in general of young people joining the UFC. More and more young people are joining MMA classes, learning martial arts at a younger age, especially now with. The coaching, where it's at, it's far more advanced than it was 10 years ago. So the coaches are teaching the young kids even more than what 10 years ago the coaches would teach the young kids. So kids are getting better and better. You look at guys like Yair, Cody Garbrandt, you know, the kids nowadays are phenomenal. You always see these online videos on YouTube of, oh, so I saw this one of this like six-year-old girl punching a tree, not six-year-old, maybe like 10 years old, kicking a tree, punching a tree, and she clearly has more martial arts training than me and if was you know could probably handle herself against me just because from birth she's probably been striking from birth birth she's probably been doing martial arts so you're seeing more and more of these prodigy kids of these young kids who just know so much and you see that all across in general of young kids knowing more especially with the internet the access of information is so much easier but as far as the access to information that remains a lot easier and there's so many online videos you can teach yourself um, and like I said there's so many classes and so many gyms opening up that anyone can learn a martial art and you know at any age you can learn martial art and you know so maybe Bisbing sees that get back to my original point Bisbing sees that and goes you know what I'm an older guy I'm getting sl I'm you know not saying that he's slow but you know bodies you know tear up and Especially in fighting, the bodies tear up and maybe he sees that and goes, shit, a guy like Whitaker isn't slowing down anytime soon, so maybe it's time to hang him up. And he's done what he's done in the UFC. He's finally got that championship under his belt. And, you know, he's a sure fay, uh, sure for, sure fay Hall of Famer, however that saying is. You know, he's for sure going to the Hall of Fame, so... Maybe he sees a GSP fight, a legend like a GSP fight, that's kind of like, hey, I did, I did my duties. I fought a Silva. I fought, you know... Fought everyone in the middleweight division, fought all the legends, all the tough guys, and now I'm fighting GSP, and maybe that's time for him to go. Or he's just saying that to, you know, put his name out there and maybe get a contract ne negotiation or maybe make more fight on the next fight, so you never know. I'm just talking shit, making a video, so. Um, that's my kind of my opinion on GSP, uh, excuse me, Biz being possibly retiring. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I will be doing UFC predictions for 217 this week. Um, as you can see, I got a new camera. If you have watched any of my older videos, I do apologize how shitty they were. But um, I'm getting better at this, and I will be editing it. Editing ding it. Videos meaning editing those. That's what it mean, What I meant by it. I will be editing videos more. And I'll be keep doing this, and uh, I'm having fun with this. Now that I got a camera, I can really, really uh, stretch videos out and maybe edit them a bit better and um, do a whole bunch of stuff. So, very excited about that. So, UFC prediction videos will be coming probably today, some today, and tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so that's my my thought on Biz being saying he wants to retire or possibly retiring after GSP. I don't want him to. I think he sells a lot left in the tank. Um, we're not in the days anymore of Randy Couture's and Dan Henderson's at 48 and 46, you know, fighting still. So it's a young man's game and maybe Bisbing sees a time to hang him up. So regardless, Bisbing's a legend. Um, for sure. I forget that saying. What's that saying? He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, he will be a Hall of Famer. As right as GSP will too. So, uh, yeah, Bisbing's the man, and he's fighting GSP November 4th, 217, Madison Square Garden. Cody Garbrandt, TJ Gillishaw are fighting on that night. You'll wanna, and Rose are fighting on that night. I can't wait for that. My two loves fighting. I, I'm, I'm gonna be brokenhearted when someone loses. Um, so I'll be doing prediction videos for that, as I said, and a review on 217. And yeah, Bisbing, legend. Don't retire. Love you. Um, bye bye, guy.